Hello, thanks for your interest and in stopping by our work. My name is Chandra Prakash Chindam. I am a PhD student in the Department of Engineering Science and Mechanics at Penn State. I will now walk through the work performed in this paper. Let me begin by telling you about some inhomogeneous thin films called sculptured thin films. These films consist of nanofibers of different morphologies such as chevron, chiral and columnar. These films have had their share of applications in optics and for sensing applications and have even been applied in forensic science for visualization of latent fingerprints. Let us focus on a biocompatible polymer called Paralene C. The use of this material is known through insulation coatings over electronic parts and due to its natural hydrophobicity, it is also used for corrosion resistant coatings over prosthetic parts. A monomer is shown on the top right side. Our research group in the past has engineered this material in the form of inhomogeneous thin films. The common cross-sectional morphologies achievable by us are columnar, straight and slanted, chevronic and chiral as shown in the SEM images. These films comprise microfibers of diameter 5 microns and a minimum thickness of 30 micrometers. We call them microfibrous thin film substrates in this paper. For this presentation, I will call them by a new name, mimeum, plural mimeums. Mimeum stands for microfibrous multifunctional metamaterial. So far, physical properties for paralene C have been established for the bulk films, which are homogeneous. But very few properties of the paralene C mimeums are known and their correlation to crystalline or amorphous nature is not established. Moreover, a systematic analysis on the growth of mimeums is currently lacking. To start with, in this study, we aim to determine the dependence of microfiber inclination on the deposition angle. Next, we analyze the crystalline and amorphous characteristics in these columnar mimeums. Since growth occurs on the surface of this biocompatible material, we also choose to examine the water wettability characteristics of the columnar mimeums grown with different deposition angles. Figure A shows the schematic of the deposition process. The lower half of figure A shows the conventional deposition process. We modify the deposition process by focusing the monomer vapor by a nozzle and direct it towards a platform attached to a motor assembly. As shown in figure B, a silicon substrate and a brass substrate are attached to the platform which can be rocked and rotated. The angle the monomer vapor makes with the substrate plane chi v and the microfiber angle chi are shown in figure C. 13 mimeums were fabricated with deposition angles from 30 degrees to 90 degrees. Mimeums grown over silicon were used for SEM imaging and the one grown on brass is used for testing. In addition, a bulk film was fabricated. A typical cross-section image of a columnar mimeum is shown in the first figure. The cross-section of each mimeum comprises microfibers of diameter 5 micrometers arranged in parallel. Next, we check the variation of microfiber inclination chi with the deposition angle chi v. We observe that there are four distinct regimes in the chi versus chi v plot. We classify these regimes into groups A, B, C and D. In groups A and C, chi remains approximately constant with chi v. Whereas in groups B and D, chi increases with chi v. Seeking a deeper explanation for this microstructural observation, we performed X-ray diffraction experiments. As an initial test, we peeled a columnar mimeum of the silicon substrate and performed X-ray diffraction experiments both in transmission and reflection mode. We found that both the spectra had the same information. Further, we also did an XRD analysis of the starting material that is powdered paralene C dimer and compared it with the X-ray spectra from crystal structure file. There was good agreement at all the frequencies except at three frequencies mentioned in the slide. Because reflection and transmission spectra had identical information of the columnar mimeum and since transmission involves peeling the mimeums of the substrates, we chose to perform all experiments in the reflection mode. The schematic for the experiment is shown here. We first constructed the crystal structure file of paralene C polymer. We then compared the XRD spectrums of one columnar mimeum from each group with a bulk film. We note two important features. First, the columnar mimeums have three additional crystal planes compared to the bulk film, indicating polycrystalline nature. 
at the crystal plane 0 to 0 present in the bulk and columnar minutes, the intensities of the columnar minutes are lower than that of the bulk film. Comparing the XRD spectra of all columnar minutes, we note that all columnar minutes have the same crystal planes. Next, comparing the XRD spectra of columnar minutes in each group, we notice that groups A and C, where chi remains constant with chi V, have a higher intensity than groups B and D, where chi increases with chi V. The higher intensities in the groups A and C supports the observation from the micrographs that there is a preferred orientation in groups A and C. We determine the crystal sizes of the columnar minutes using Scherer equation. Crystallinity percentages were identified for all columnar minutes. We note that in groups A and C, where chi remains constant with chi V, have a higher crystallinity than in groups B and D, where chi increases with chi V. This indicates that the preferred orientation is making them less amorphous. The dependence of chi on chi V is reminiscent of the conversion of continuous rotation into intermittent rotary motion by the Geneva gear mechanism. In the figure, the chi V and chi are the rotation angles of the green driver and the red slotted wheel respectively. Since this is a first model of this kind, the values of the unknowns are determined by fitting the experimental data to the phenomenological model. A comparison of the fit is overlaid on the figure. So far, we found that the spatial frequencies of the columnar minutes were different from those of the bulk film. We now examine the dependence of temporal frequencies on deposition angle by infrared spectroscopy. For this purpose, attenuated total reflectance experiments were performed on the bulk film and four columnar minutes, one from each group. Experiments were performed in both S and P polarization states as shown in the figure. We found that all the peak frequencies are the same for all the columnar minutes and the bulk film in both polarization states. This indicates that the temporal frequencies do not change although the deposition process is altered. To measure the wetting characteristics, static contact angles were measured by viewing the 5 microliter water droplets in XZ and YZ planes as shown in figures A and B. Left and right side contact angle measurements were made 10 times in 1 second at 3 different locations on the surface of each mimeum. Similarly, the contact angle hysteresis was measured by tilting the columnar mimeum about X and Y axis as shown in figures C and D. Due to the anisotropy of the film in the XZ plane, which is morphologically significant, another measurement of hysteresis was made by tilting columnar mimeum about X axis but in the opposite sense as shown in figure E. For hysteresis measurements, the droplet volume was chosen as the one which slides when the columnar mimeum is tilted. The starting size was 15 microliter and increments of 5 microliter were made if needed. We observe that the difference of left and right contact angles in the XZ plane exceeds those in the YZ plane with an exception at chi V equals 30 degrees. This observation is in consonance with the asymmetry due to inclination of microfibers in the XZ plane which is morphologically significant. The columnar mimeums fabricated with chi V of 55 degrees and 80 degrees respectively have the highest and lowest mean values of both left and right static contact angles in the XZ plane which is morphologically significant. These two values of chi V shift somewhat to 52.5 and 85 degrees respectively in the vertical plane which is YZ. Thus, although anisotropic, the upper and lower limits of static hydrophobicity are almost isotropic. However, we note from figures A and B that in any of the four regimes, the maximum and minimum static hydrophobicity occur on the boundaries of that regime. But the same feature is not present in figures C and D. Thus, wetting in the morphologically significant plane, which is XZ, and the YZ plane are fundamentally different. The approximate diameter of the droplet is 2.67 mm, which is much larger than the microfiber diameter. Hence, the usually used Cassie-Baxter and Wenzel theories and also the mixed Cassie-Wenzel theory fails to explain the non-monotonic dependence of static contact angle on deposition angle. Further, we also imaged the top surfaces of the columnar mimeums to examine roughness. These are shown in figure 12 of the paper. We note that as chi V increases from 30 to 50 degrees, the large scale roughness, which is the roughness over the entire surface and not merely over an individual microfiber, increases. As chi V increases from 50 to 90 degrees, 
the parallel microfibers are packed more closely. Thus, the non-uniform variations of the static contact angles with chi-v can be attributed to the surface evolution via polymerization process during mimeum deposition. The minimum, maximum and mean values from three measurements each of the hysteresis in x and y directions is shown here. We found that the sense of tilt of x axis does not affect the hysteresis of columnar mimeums. Both contact angle hysteresis have non-monotonic variations with chi -B. The mean values of hysteresis in x and y were measured to be the highest at 55 degrees, while both contact angle hysteresis were around 20 degrees for the bulk fill. Higher contact angle hysteresis suggests better addition of the droplet. This was definitely evident during the measurements in both XZ and YZ planes as the droplet always remained pinned to the columnar mimeum. Pinning did not occur for the bulk film whose surface was found to be smooth. In conclusion, we established the microfiber inclination dependence on deposition angle for parallel C columnar mimeums. For this microstructural observation, we were able to propose a Geneva gear mechanism as a phenomenological model. We identified microstructural and molecular differences between bulk and columnar mimeums. First, bulk film was found to be more crystalline with only one crystal plane, whereas columnar films were found to be less crystalline with many crystal planes. Although spatial frequencies were different, we found that the temporal frequencies were the same for all columnar mimeums and the bulk film. A non-monotonic dependence of wetting characteristics on the deposition angle was observed. The static hydrophobicity was found to be anisotropic, but the limits of it are almost isotropic. Both static hydrophobicity as well as adhesion can be maximized by a proper choice of monomer deposition angle. An understanding of the polymerization process in relation to the deposition angle is necessary to explain the variation of static hydrophobicity with the deposition angle. Modeling of vaporization and roughness evolution in chemical vapor deposition of